Shamir McWhite says her son sneaked out last Friday night without her knowledge. An underage and unlicensed driver, North Charleston police say her son took her car and ran a red light on Dorchester Road. He crashed into Mary and Shamrika Dent's car after a police pursuit. Both women were killed. McWhite says she's been trying to get help for her son for the past eight months. She tells us she even filed police reports against her son and took him to the Department of Juvenile Justice. But she didn't receive any help. I even took him there, trying to drop him off and accidentally keep him. And they kept saying that he's only 12 years old. There's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can't do because he's only 12 years old. He has any criminal charges, no record of criminal history so they can't keep them. She says she doesn't want this crash to define her son. And I'm tired of hearing about people speaking badly about my child because he's not a bad child and I'm not going to take that for him because if he's wrong, he is wrong. McWhite doesn't understand why North Charleston police or Highway Patrol haven't reached out to her yet. Why have we, why have, as a parent, I've not heard anything from them, but they're going to the family and I, my sincere condolences to them, but why well, have not, I had not heard anything from them yet. But most of all, McWhite says she sends her condolences to the family of the two women who died. I could have lost my child also in this tragic accident. So I want to give my, my condolences and my sympathy to the Dent family, to the children that lost their mother, to the mother that lost her daughter. In North Charleston, the woman died Friday after police say a 12-year-old ran a red light and crashed into their car. Our Tara Jabor joins us live now where a vigil just wrapped up in Tara. What are family and friends of the women saying tonight? Hey, Tessa, earlier today we talked with the Dent family and they told us that they're heartbroken. They never expected something like this to happen to their family. Now, around 50 people here are at the Community Resource Center in North Charleston remembering the two Dent women. Family and friends of Mary and Shamrika Dent gathered outside of the North Charleston Community Resource Center to remember their lives. Two loving sisters, two sisters who would, I don't want to say give you the share of their back because that's cliche. I would, I would say they would go through the wire with you. Mary and Shamrika are being remembered by their family as two loving women. Mary was a mother of five who loved to cook. She was feisty when it came to family. She was vigilant when it came to her kids and uh, Mary was she was a free spirit. She loved it when the family came around. Shamrika was a mother of two. Her uncle says she was laid back in the life of every family party. A family gathering where she would want to be DJing the music. She would control everybody with the music and nobody would interfere with that. Shamrika and Mary both did hair. The family told us they had no idea how much the community loved them. Shamrika and Mary were known to always be together. Inseparable. <laughs> yeah, they, they both were pretty much inseparable. Police say the women died July 1st after a 12-year-old ran a red light on Dorchester Road and crashed into their vehicle shortly after police began a pursuit. The Dent family says they do not hold a grudge against the young man. There's no anger, there's no hostility because he was, he was still a young man, he was still a boy. And he's, um, he, made a, he made a decision that he has to live with, with the rest, you know, for the rest of his life. And we reached out to the South Carolina Highway Patrol. They told us that this accident is still under investigation.